monitoring in Google Cloud Platform. So before understanding about the need or before getting into the uh, VPC peering, let's understand the need or why VPC peering get into the picture. All right. So the first one is default VPC communication. So in a Google Cloud environment, by default, the virtual private clouds, that's VPC, operates as an isolation. So each VPC is like its own private network. So that any instances that's running within the same VPC can communicate with each other without any extra configuration. So the challenges is here is when you have uh, multiple VPCs for different projects or team or a different purposes, they might need to have a collaboration, right? There may be a requirement for a collaboration between them. So in that case, without any special setup, a direct communication between this isolated VPCs was not possible the earlier time. So in order to enable the communication between VPC, there was a traditional approach, okay? Uh, so in the absence of the VPC in the traditional approach, right, we might need to, uh, you know, use a method like using external IP addresses or setting up a complex networking configuration to enable the communication between the VPC. So if you remember earlier, we have discussed about the internal IP addresses and external IP addresses, right? So before VPC comes uh, get in picture or in the traditional method of connecting, um, enabling a communication between a VMs in different VPCs, it was not possible to use the internal IP addresses. Okay, so they may need to connect using the external IP addresses using the internet or through the internet. So where we may need a firewall and a complex network setup is required, comparing to VPC or the uh, VPC. Yep, correct. Then. The challenges with traditional approaches. So using the external IPs may expose your resources to the public internet. So because as I said, uh, in the traditional method, you cannot enable communication using the internal IP addresses in order to enable a communication between VM, VM instances that are running in two different VPCs, right? So if you want to enable a communication between them, you need to, uh, the communication should happen through the public IP addresses, through the internet, right? So that's what it is. So using the external IP address, uh, so when you use external IPs, it may get exposed to the public internet. So this leads to potentially compromising security and uh, you know complex networking configuration can be difficult to manage and might not be scalable. So what is the solution to it? So as you know, the solution is to bring the VPC peering, okay? So this is where the VPC peering comes to the rescue. It provides a straightforward and a secure way to connect different VPCs, allowing them to communicate directly as if they are part of the same network. All right. So overcoming the isolation. So VPC peering essentially creates a direct and a private connection between the VPCs, overcoming the isolation and enabling a seamless communication. So the advantages of VPC peering or, uh, you know, secure collaboration, simplified connectivity and so on. Maybe let's let's go through a few, right? So if you see a secure collaboration, it allows team or a project using a different VPCs to collaborate securely. Resources can be shared without exposing them to the broader internet, maintaining a high level of security because we have seen it earlier, right? So when, uh, as I said, when you are, uh, you know, without VPC, if you're trying to establish a communication between uh, different VMs, uh, between different, that's running in different VPCs, then it's possible only through the public IP address or the external IP address. Where else if you are using a VPC peering, uh, we can overcome it, okay? We don't need to make use of the public IP or the external IP, all right? So simplified connectivity. Instead of relying on um, intricate networking setup, a VPC peering simplifies the process of connecting VPCs, making it easier to manage, and it reduces the chances of misconfiguration and it's efficient resource utilization, okay? With the VPC peering, resources from different VPC can work together efficiently, leading to a better resource utilization and a more streamlined workflow, okay? And the last one is its scalability and flexibility. As your organization grows, VPC peering can easily scale to accommodate the increasing need of collaboration between different VPCs. 
So this is an overview about the VPC peering in theory. Uh, in the upcoming video, let's understand uh, more in detail about VPC and also let's explore more with a hands-on.